For 60 years, the Nigerian Air Force has guarded the nation's skies with pride as part of its national security responsibilities. During this period, the Air Force has helped to keep the peace on international scene, participating in major peacekeeping operations in countries like Sierra Leone, Liberia, and the Gambia. At the moment, the Air Force is playing a pivotal role in theater operations across the country to counter insurgency and other acts of terrorism. It is to celebrate this landmark that the Nigeria Air Force is commemorating its 60th anniversary. So basically from a very tactical Air Force today, we are a very formidable Air Force, uh, arguably uh, one of the best on the African continent, one of the biggest also. Uh, so we have come a very long way. Uh, we have every reason to celebrate. We have every reason to be happy at 60. Beyond the immediate celebration, the Chief of Air Staff says the Air Force is positioning itself to be a major superpower among the world's military by boosting its operations through the acquisition of newer platforms. So the lesson there is still you know, reflected in one of the key drivers of my command philosophy, which is the focus on research and development the ultimate aim of which is to win yourself off dependence on you know foreign vendors because that is the only way if we had had you know enough technical capacity to maintain them we probably would be flying them today if we had had the capacity to also manufacture some of the spares required to you know keep them serviceable we probably would be flying them today so those are the lessons you know and the only way forward is just to try to get independence and this is only true uh, you know, technology transfer, acquisition, reverse engineering, whichever way you call it. But the aim is just for you to be able to be self-sufficient, to be able to produce what you need so that you are not completely dependent, you know, on foreign vendors. On why the nation has not been able to end terrorism and insurgency, despite the acquisition of several platforms like the Super Tucano, Air Marshal Abubakar explains that the nature of the conflict has restricted the optimum utilization of the platforms. It's the kind of warfare where your adversary, they are Nigerians, they are embedded within the population. It's not like the conventional warfare where you just, uh, you know, load their airplanes with, uh, with, with bombs and just go and drop it. You know, whoever is there is an adversary. Now, uh, the adversary is embedded within the population. And the same media has reported several in the past where we have, you know, had you know, drop bombs maybe mistakenly uh, and there were civilian casualties. So we are very, very careful not to do that. We don't want even one innocent Nigerian to be killed. The Air Force also doused fears about the maintenance of incoming platforms and others within its inventory. According to the Air Chief, the contract facilitating the purchases adequately provides for routine maintenance. He also assures that the Air Force is prioritizing research and development of indigenous innovations to support NAF operations. Ferdinand Duroha, Arise News.